Hi, this is Andy Nathan from AndyNathan.net. Coming to here to talk to you today about RSS feeds. Specifically, we're going to talk about WordPress RSS feeds. So, for those of you who don't know what an RSS feed is, RSS stands for Really Simple Syndication. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one of my current RSS feeds, the one for AndyNathan.net, which is under the original name Twitter Goal. And we'll go over why naming is important in a few seconds. And what you can actually see here is, is that it's a feed for all of the different posts that I do. Whenever I do a post, a, a feed actually has, whenever I have a subscriber to the feed, it lets them know. Think of it like a stock ticker. Whenever you see the stock ticker go through on CNN with the different stock numbers, that's a feed. Same idea here, whenever I do a blog post, the new articles go in through a feed and whenever my subscribers can then see it on that feed. So the most popular feed is FeedBurner.com. And this is my feed for AndyNathan.net. Very simple. If you want to set up your own feed, all you need to do is, I'm going to go back here, I want to burn a new feed. I'm actually going to create one for SmartAtTheStart.com. And I, all I do is I type in the website. I'm going to type next. And the great thing about working with WordPress is they do have a feed already. However, I like feed burners a lot more. So as you can see, there's a few different feeds here. I'm going to just take the top feed here, and I'm going to turn it into a feed burner feed. So I'm going to go next. And then you could title it however you want. However, this feed... I want the I'm okay with the title being Chicago Social Networking Schmoozer. However, I want the feed to actually be called Smart at the Start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click next. And by the way, you could change your feed at any time, the name, like Smart at the Start. However, whenever you change the name, the reason why I still have mindless as Twitter goal, even though I really don't use that name anywhere else, is because if I changed it, all my subscribers would have to resubscribe to my my feed. So it's very important to get your feed done the right the first time. Then after that, I'm going to copy this, and then we're going to go over to WordPress. Now, on WordPress right now, I have a feed right here, and this is feeds that feed burner. I already put it in. I actually go over to smartthestart.com and need to log in. Hold on. And once we we're gonna log in real quick. And I want them to remember me. So once we go in here what I could do is I can go into the uh, appearance, I go into appearances, I go down below that, I go into plugins, see where it says add new, you click add new, and then I'm going to type in feed burner, and one of the ones I really like is feed burner, and you can see it here because I've typed it in before, feedsmith, and I'm going to search for that plugin, and I see it right here, I'm going to install that, and the reason why FeedBurner FeedSmith is good because it's based off of FeedBurner's actual feed. It was created to use with FeedBurner. And I can go install plugin. And remember, this is for WordPress RSS feeds only. And then what I'm going to do is I scroll down here and in the settings tab, I'm going to see the FeedBurner FeedSmith after I activated it. And all I need to do is I can go copy and paste. Now, if I wanted to add one for the comments, I could do one for comments. We're not going to go through all these different feeds right now. Right now, I'm just going to click Save, and that is it. So now I have a feed for smartthestart.com, and that's all you need to do. Now, if you want to get a little fancy with this, one of the things you could do, and I'm going to show you this on... AndyNathan.net is that you could actually put in your feed on the front page so people can subscribe to it. Because once people can subscribe to your feed, they could actually follow what's going on and whenever you have a new post, they'll be updated on Google. Google has a Google Reader which is really useful with this. 
and as you can see it's right here and people can subscribe easily to it and they can keep up with what's going on in your blog like I said it's a nice thing to have and I have 250 people who follow every single blog post that I do that's a nice thing to have on a regular basis Again, my name is Andy Nathan from andynathan.net. I hope you enjoyed the introduction to WordPress RSS feeds.